Hi, I'm Susie, and after living and travelling solo in my camper van Lucy for the last three years, travelling across 10 countries through Europe and beyond, I fell in love and bought an old abandoned house in Portugal, in the small village of Vieira de Laria on the central west coast. My journey was an incredible, life-changing story, and I've even written a book, Let Go, Fly Free. Now it's time for a new challenge, to transform this old derelict house into a beautiful, traditional, sustainable Portuguese quinta. Follow me as I renovate the house and use permaculture principles to create a food forest and a sustainable, self-sufficient life. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Susie, and in August 2022, I bought an old abandoned quinta in a small village in the area of Vieira de Laria, just 10 minutes from the beautiful west coast beaches of central Portugal. The house hadn't been lived in for many years, and it needed a lot of cleaning. The land was a complete mess overgrown and building materials everywhere. I bought it with a dream to transform it back to its former glory, create a food forest and live a more sustainable life. This video is the story so far. Something very exciting is happening today. Something big. As you can see, I have all well, these are the shutters for the windows. And these are the windows. So all the old windows are coming out, of course. This is the front door. It's amazing. Just with those windows out, how much more light is coming into the house. Job is to 
wash the roof. <laughs> I opened the back gate for the first time and looked around with fresh eyes. I wondered whether I had taken on too much. So I just decided to start. Cleaning came first, literally everything, in preparation for painting every single ceiling and wall. Little by little, the transformation began. And nine months on, so much has changed. And I can't believe what has been achieved. Whenever we are faced with a big task that feels overwhelming with the whole job, we can break it down into small achievable tasks. And that's exactly what I did. The structure of the house was sound, but the roof needed a new main beam and ridge tiles. I wanted the builders to do the work on the roof before the rains arrived, but unfortunately this did not happen. So I made a temporary job of covering the main roof beam to protect it and to keep the connecting beams as dry as possible during the winter months. This was when the full extent of the roof not having any proper drainage revealed itself with flooding in the kitchen every time there was heavy rain. And there was a lot of it. Outside are many areas where animals were kept and a huge roof covering this outside area, which was not only unsafe, but blocked all the light from entering the house. We are currently in the process of removing all of this. It's a huge job. <laughs> needed a lot of clearance before I could even think about starting to plant more fruit trees and other fruit-bearing plants 
to start to create the food forest, all part of the plan for self-sufficiency. I am looking forward to the day when I can pluck sweet oranges and peaches from the trees that I have planted. Already there are succulent lemons and figs, and I have created a temporary vegetable area for lettuces, onions, strawberries and tomatoes. In another building, I've created a storage area for resources, all the things that I found on the property that we could use for other projects. I can't wait to get creative with these things. With no sign of the builders returning, I decided to take on the big job myself of spraying all the roof beams as there was evidence of Death Watch Beetle. This had to be the most horrible job ever. Not only did I have to be high on scaffold, I had to protect myself from the toxicness of the xylophene. It took me weeks to complete, but it goes to show you can do anything you set your mind to. I was so pleased with myself when the job was done. In February, the rains finally stopped and the new doors and windows I had ordered back in November were fitted. And wow, what a difference that made to not only the light entering the house, but maintaining the heat within. There's nothing more wonderful to me than a roaring open fireplace when it's cold outside. I have plans to change this to a log burner, as although I love the open fire, it uses a lot of wood and doesn't heat the room efficiently, and actually isn't very good for the environment. The builders also returned to fix the roof and do all of the outside work. Wow, what a transformation. While the builders worked on the house, I set to making a temporary vegetable bed as I was keen to start growing some of our own food. I used the compost that I had prepared when clearing the land and it felt so rewarding. I've also started to do things with the other produce here. I've made nettle powder from the nettles and we had a lot. It was a great way to use them productively and they have amazing health benefits. I also tried my hand at making lemon sorbet. It's absolutely delicious and so refreshing on the palate to eat after a meal. I'm definitely going to be making a lot more of that. And inside the house, this is the living area. Still need to buy a new sofa. That was the original sofa that was in the house. And then here on the left is the original old kitchen. And at some point, this will be renovated and done. We're gonna have a log burner fire here. That's got to be done before the winter. And the hallway, excuse the stuff, this is a house that's now lived in. This is the bedroom, which you've already seen with the typical old Portuguese furniture, was bought second hand, very cheaply. The bathroom again is the original bathroom that was, that was here, just cleaned it all up. It's perfectly serviceable, you know, yes, I would love to have a new bathroom, but uh, yeah, it's, it's all gonna take time. And to be honest with you, I have actually run out of money <laughs> to do anything else. This room here now is the gymnasium. It's gonna be an, a bedroom at some point, bedroom, and the other bedroom over here, which is uh, a teenager's bedroom, as you can see, but all nice and clean, curtains, new curtains, beautifully painted walls and ceiling. still need light fittings for most of the rooms in the house. And this is now how the outside area is looking. 
you can see that we have taken the vast majority of tiles from here. We still have this area over here to do to open up all of this so that it will all just be like completely open going into the back area there. And there is a lot of wood still to be taken down from this area here. And we are going to be putting some guttering on the back of the house here. And this bit here, that's going to, to go. This is the area here that I am going to transform into a beautiful flower garden seating area and the vegetables, I'm going to have some beds over there. And back here in the back part of the garden now, here is the temporary vegetable garden and you can see everything is growing so well. And the strawberries, wow, the strawberries are coming on. Look at this. Strawberries are coming on so nicely. And I love all the wild poppies that are here in the garden. We had some heavy rain yesterday, so everything's kind of a bit battered this morning. So orange trees here and here are the orange trees over here. This guy here is the peach tree. We've planted, or I've planted, <laughs> this is a blueberry bush just here. This is my bougainvillea, which uh, hasn't really done so well so far, but it has actually got some new growth on it now. The other day we planted Chiabra. Bro, I think that's the name. I'm going to check. <laughs> we bought the seeds from Brazil, but as yet nothing has grown here. That was about a week ago, so mm, not sure what's going to be happening here. This area here, I have planted um, or literally just thrown some cosmos seeds, which again I bought from Brazil. They're uh, plants that grow quite tall, so it's going to cover this wall area here. They are beautiful orange and yellow colour here. And look, here are some poppies just here. Beautiful. And here is a raspberry bush. So, yes, the food forest is starting to come along. Obviously, it's going to take a while to, to grow. Ah, and look at these flowers here. This is what I love, just beautiful wild flowers. They're beautiful. And uh, yeah, next year there'll be a lot more here because obviously we've been treading in this area all the time. Uh, yes, so here we have now cleared out this area here and the one here with a little gate next door to it. Still needs the soil taken out. But this is going to be where we're going to have the chickens. they got some nice perches here to perch on. Obviously, we'll put some a bit lower. And we just need to fix this roof here as, as well. So, yeah, this is going to be where the chickens are. This is going to be their house. They're going to have all this area around here. They will be able to free range as well. So, yeah, as you can see, we have done so much, yet there is still so much to do. Some exciting projects too, with, particularly with this here. This here is the old wine vat. I'll take you around the front. And you will see here, and I'm going to change the this into a dipping pool for the summer so it needs to be cleaned needs to be painted and yeah I really want this for the summer but this 
all of this is going to be coming down. Hopefully this will be done next week. So this will be next week's project to do that. And uh, yeah, it's just so nice to be able to do something creative amongst all the hard work. So yeah, it's just trying to get that, that balance of wanting to get things done. But uh, yeah, <laughs> little by little. And this area here is just full of the tiles that have come off the roof at the, the moment. And if I haven't already shown you, this is how the house looks here now, painted, the new windows. And in here, I have planted a vine just here. And the idea of the vine here, this is another beautiful flowering plant that's already in here, is that the vine will grow up this wall here and along oh, the wall, all along this wall, I'll put some uh, wire for the, the vine to actually grow along. So at some point in the future, all of this will be covered by a beautiful vine. So there you have it, nine months of life on the Quinta here in Portugal, which I'm actually calling now Casa dos Frutas, the house of fruits. If you enjoyed the video, which was absolutely um, a mammoth to make for me, it took me two days to make it, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I love hearing all your comments and suggestions and thank you so much for all your support and I hope that uh, I'll see you back here again next Sunday.